Hundreds crowded the Pilgrim Progressive Baptist Church today to pay tribute to a local legend. Barbara Harris, better known as Sister Pee Wee, was San Diego's queen of soul food for over five decades. She passed away last Wednesday at the age of 83. News 8's Abby Alford has the story of her remarkable life. Not an empty seat inside the Pilgrim Progressive Baptist Church as hundreds paid tribute to San Diego's queen of soul food, Barbara Harris. But we all know her as Sister Pee Wee. Remembering a woman who was more than a soulful chef. When she worked on Imperial, she was like Mother Teresa. Sister Pee Wee served up advice, conversation. She gave him a very good word of advice all the time, the same way she raised her kids with morals, ethics, and a belt and a stick, and a 38. And a 38. <laughs> she learned to barbecue in Arkansas and moved to San Diego where she served soul food for five decades on the corner of 30th and Imperial in Logan Heights. One of the things that mom was famous for was never serving a hamburger. She raised eight children, seven were boys, and then at age 68, she adopted two girls. If there's a legacy in all of this, I would hope that it would be that right there. She retired two years ago and passed away peacefully at age 83 last Wednesday. She was laid to rest on Friday. All right now. Throughout the years, News 8's late Larry Hemmel and Pee Wee cooked up a special friendship. What's whiter, that rice or me? <laughs> <laughs> Larry was mentioned in her funeral program. They remained longtime friends. Happy Valentine's Day. The mayor and council named October 27, 2017, as Sister Pee Wee Day, and the Himmel Foundation awarded her the first Good Neighbor Award that same year. Larry was like a second father to us, you know. Friends and family shared stories of her generosity. It wasn't about the food. It was a love that was connected to the food. Yes. Sitting at the red counter, you never felt like a stranger. But what I loved about Sister Pee Wee was she was encouraging. She served up a hot meal even oh, if you couldn't afford it. Sister Pee Wee is a pillar to this community. And may her legacy continue to serve up heart and soul. And now, don't sense. put out the possibility of uh, a Sister Pee Wee soul food opening again in San Diego. The Himmel Foundation says that it's working with the city to name a street after Sister Pee Wee. In Webster, I'm Abby Alford for News 8. She'll be missed.